was I was at ease, but he has broken me asunder. He has also taken me by my neck. A yoke of iron shall be put about thy neck, right? So that's talking about slavery, and we're still in slavery, but the, the yoke about our neck, our, our documents, our contracts. See, that's why Jake can't just get up and leave. You know, these comedic individuals, if they were so deep into that comedic stuff, they would go back to Africa. And you might say, what about you Israelites? Mind you, back in uh, uh, the land of Israel, because we're not supposed to be there, because the Lord's going to destroy that place and destroy America. And he ha has to have the elect here so he can deliver them from America and around the world. Because the elect is scattered around the world. But there are literally thousands of Jakes that have went back to the land of uh, Israel and had children there. We're talking about, what, three, four generations of children. Because that main, that group, um, went back, uh, Benny Amin, he led a group to go to Africa. I believe it was Ghana, if I'm not mistaken. Then, from there, they went to Israel. But that, that, we're talking about 68, 69, into the 70s, man. So all that comedic stuff, you know, is nonsense. That's why nobody listens to you guys. That's why that comedic stuff is dead. Anyway, it says, 12 verse again, Job 16 verse 12. I was at ease. Yeah, one time we were in, in our kingdom. And when we went to, to the western coast of Africa, this is something that ISCPK doesn't teach. Well, you from Ghana, you a Hamite. Because they don't, they don't get deep. The scriptures speak about us. Um, give you one scripture, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse 64. It speaks, it speaks about us being scattered. And there's many other scriptures that speak up, speak about us being scattered. So, do you mean to tell me they're not scattered? Israel's all over the place. Israel go to different countries and make that country great. All the greatness and great sports legends and and, um, you know, great people, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Mike Tyson, uh, just, um, uh, Floyd Mayweather, just to name a few in the sporting world. We make things happen, man. I remember when, um, prior to SUVs and Jeeps, a Jeep was a vehicle that you would just ride off-road. You go up into the woods and the mountains. Well, Jake made the Jeep urban. So you know what Esau does? Because Esau, uh, this, is what, this is what um Tariq Rashid said. He says that there's certain Edomites that all they do is study Jake. And they'll make things happen based upon what Jake does. So I'm just using the I'm just using the uh, example of the Jeep. Jake took the Jeep, you know, the drug dealers and the ballers and, 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 and the shot callers old school. Anyway, they would they would they take the Jeep and they would they would urbanize it. They would make it somewhat to a luxury car. So that's when he said, so wait a minute, man, let's make this Jeep thing a luxury thing. That's why you got the Escalade, you got the, um, well, all of these, you got, you got what's called an SUV, sports utility vehicle, which is based upon the Jeep. And that's, and then you got that from Jake. Anyway, let's, let's read on, I'm sorry. It says, so even in, the, even in this captivity, we have made it easy for us. Oh, let's look at, um, let's talk about, uh, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. They had a special on it because it was a hundred year anniversary of that event. And, uh, Esau tore that place down because you know what? Jake was doing so good. Jake was, Jake wasn't, they wasn't thinking about, uh, Esau. They were doing their own thing. So that's another thing you're going to have to pay for. It says uh, 12 verse 
converse. I was at ease. You know, you were doing good, but he has broken me asunder. He has also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up to his mark. So if you want to say that every time you come across the word, across the word mark, it all means the same thing. If you, go, if you come across the word mark in the New Testament, it means the same thing in the Old Testament. So guess what? There goes your scripture. It says, and set me up for his mark. What is the mark? The mark of the beast. Now we know that that's not actually talking about that, but for you lazy Israelites out there that don't really go into words, you're not wordsmiths, you don't go into the um, etymology of the word, you don't know if the word is uh, based upon a Hebrew word, a Greek word, a Latin word, you don't do no deep study. So now let's go into the precepts. Be not merciful. 